good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Midnight Show. Before we begin, if you look at the pin comment in chat, you will find, count them five GoFundMe's for our friends, James Colley, Angela Ariaga, Moonshock, The Hate Camel, and Maddie. These are all great people, except for James, and they can use a little help, except for James. Hey, James, how you doing? Great. I uh, don't know how you feel about me. What? I, I would just say that you're everybody's a great person, except for you are. How, how is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing at all. My trans friend. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. Come on now. God. Yes, yes. We it's must remember me, I, the transmission. Excuse me, James is trying to dox me. That is not cool, James. You don't be doxing. Fr- friends don't dox friends. <laughs> wow. I, I can't help it if you were, uh, what What was the name of Black Thelma? <laughs> I'm not, that, shh, can't tell Froth that I'm Black Thelma, all right? Mm-hmm. You don't want me to, uh, you don't want to use my medium account. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm playing See the intro. He's, mm-hmm. oh, sorry, Go I ahead. was going to say he's not doxing you, he's just... Letting everybody know about your blatant poofery. Yeah, he's, he's outing you. He's not doxing you. Yeah, he's just getting your stage name out there. Yeah. No, that's it's uh, a pseudonym. It's a pen name. Yes. Uh, they, yeah. Just letting people know who play I am. Play the intro. Fine. <laughs> I'll play the intro. Welcome to the Midnight Show with the Midnight Crew. Angela Ariaga, James Colley, Terry Divantis, and our host, T. Alexander. With special guest, Good e- e- evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. We have uh, Spud Gun with us tonight. Yo, Spud. How do? It's been good. Finally got you on. I'm finally awake. Next time, I'm going to come to uh, Great Britain and drag you out by your hair. See how you like that? Ouch. <laughs> Kinky. To be fair, that would just give me an erection. <laughs> Ew. I'm gonna wear my black down. Thel- I'm gonna wear my black down. Thel- get up. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Um, before I begin my rant, James, you have a rant, please. The floor is yours. Anybody uh, watched Cornered Knot? Nope. No, no, never heard of it. Mm-mm. Never heard of it. Okay. I you never know sleep. <laughs> Obviously, the author of that last article with the. Princess Bride. Okay. I'll, some, I'll just break it down to you. The woman saw the movie. Her parents went out on a date for the movie. It was a staple in their house growing up. However, Wesley was an abuser. He threatened to hit Buttercup. Therefore, he didn't love her. What the hell? Yeah. Yes. That that was the gist of the article. Because Wesley uh, Wesley threatened to hit her, he did not. Because he didn't tell her that he he wasn't dead for five years because he was on a boat in the ocean somewhere. He didn't love her. Yeah. Under the um, assumption that he most likely would die. Yep. Yeah, he didn't tell her. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. Kind of pissed me off. Uh, I'm frosted once again. I'm really glad that I don't get to watch 
the corner very often because oh you should it's amazing oh it'll do wonders for your blood pressure <laughs> oh yeah my blood pressure that i can't keep control of already yeah. <laughs> oh it'll regulate it it will that'll break that fucking regulator and just set it up to high yeah, I was going to say, it'll just turn around and keep my blood pressure off the charts. Wonderful. And yeah. if you, after being on the corner, if you get pricked by a pen, you'll t uh, pricked by a needle, you'll, you will turn into a goddamn sparkler. You'll just be gushing blood everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my body wants too much blood. <laughs> Frosted, if I thought that you were not grinning ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> I would be amazed. Uh, you know, most of his articles don't affect me. Even his butchering of uh, Dragon Ball Z characters mm -hmm. didn't bother me. Mm -hmm. Tonight's article about the Princess Bride bothered me. <clears throat> well, because it's a great movie. Oh, yeah. I don't know why any medium article would bother anyone. You just assume they're written by retards and it's not bothering them. Well, no, 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 Tari, no, Tari. As, as we learned tonight, the medium is written by intellectuals. Intellectual retards, right. <laughs> yeah, and the wonder is if they suck dick like they suck the fun out of everything. <laughs> oh, if, shit. Well, if that one author did, if Cheetah sucked dick like they sucked the fun out of everything, she'd be still married. Wow. What? What did I say? Wow. <laughs> hey, I was nicer in the corner. I said if they suck genitals and that whole thing because some women might like getting the, their JJ sucked on. I mean, it usually involves more tongue from what I'm aware of. That's weird. Dude, people are fucking weird, bro. Yes. <laughs> um... Here's one, because if you want us to have a quick rant before you kick off. Yep. Um, and we lost James. It, yep, yep. James kicked himself. Nah, yeah, he lost connection. There he is. No. Uh, I, had to, I was having an issue. Uh, I got a message, and it switched my... Message? Settings around, so I had to... Trying to fix that real quick. But I'm back. Uh, you got to say something, Spud? Yeah. Um, basically, um, I was on the rec room. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, very nice. Is that <laughs> an axolotl? I don't know. I do believe it is. I just No, it's not. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Right. And... Um, Basically, somebody screwed around with the way the um, kidneys kidneys are handed out to people mm -hmm. and it ended up with people dying because it was decided that it was racist the way kidneys are dished out and the scales that they use because black people can deal with more creatine Whereas white folks, we really can't, you know. So basically, black people who were in no danger, um, no immediate danger, were getting kidneys long before white people who were like circling the drain. Mm. Um, it was a uh, not the B article, I'll see if I can find it. All right, um. Uh that is fucking disgustingly horrible. Now, yes, I can see prioritizing those who are in need first. Black, white, purple, yes. pink, vermilion, I don't care. If, if Spud, you it's need a kidney. Fuck the vermilion people. Huh? Now fuck the vermilions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, no. I think that's a Mitch Hedberg drug who is like, uh, fuck purple people. Hmm. And the people that eat them. Yeah. Damn no, no, but right. in all seriousness, if if you need 
I've chucked it in the sidebar if you want it. Uh, Andlo, we'll read this after, um, my rant. The, the one that Spudgun just put in the thing? Yes, ma'am. But we're not so, gonna read okay. it just now. Mm -hmm. But that's fucking horrible. It really fucking is. Yes. Like, it, all right, so this, this DI shit, this, this, uh, you know, choosing wokeness. Oh, this is some bullshit. Fuck you. I'm about to die. I don't care what color the kidney is. I don't care what color the person. Is. I, I want to live. Fuck y'all. Oh. Can I just oh. make a point of frosted in the chat there? Go right in. Right. I'd want my daughter to have a good credit score so she'd never be allowed to date a black man. Hey, I got a great credit score. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's I'm a... not black. Fuck, I keep forgetting that. I'm sorry. But by the way, uh, there's a reason why Tyr doesn't have children. He doesn't smoke. <laughs> well, I do drink milk, so... Oh. Okay, okay, yeah. So right. you can adopt... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Angela, you you you're here willingly. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. You're here willingly. What up, Mitch? I, I didn't say I wasn't. Alright. Hi Travis. So, Hi Mitch. So so I'm gonna put this the my rant that we can get to the article and this shit pissed me the fuck off. This cocksucker. This groveling little motherfucker here pissed me the fuck off to no end. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that dumb motherfucker. Oh, boy. It, it's only a minute and ten, and we're going to play it straight through so everybody can hear before I, I, I go off. Congressman Max Miller here from Ohio 7, and I know a lot of you are going to have a lot of questions about today's spending bill. But I want to go over the, a lot of the disinformation that a lot of my colleagues on my side of the aisle are talking about. I want to be clear, if you shut down the government, you don't shut down the border. Uh, that is nonsense talk. That doesn't make any sense. Ask yourself this quick question. Would you go to work every single day and not get Stop. paid? Yet you know you have to pay. Right. That's not how this shit works. <laughs> right. Because people still get paid because it's an automated system and well, there are processes in place to allow those that need paying to be paid so he's basically talking out of his ass well no hold on because i i work for the federal government and that's that bit is literally true and to an extent if if the government were to shut down today tomorrow and go for about a month i technically would miss two paychecks but I would still get paid in the end. I would get the money back, but I wouldn't get them. I wouldn't get those two paychecks well, at one time. Be getting paid directly be people like you. They'd be closing down parks and whatnot because those things wouldn't be getting money allocated to them. But the jackasses like him would still be getting their paycheck because, of course, they're the important people that has, still have to get paid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, see, what that's going to shut down is, is like um, Social Security. The old people mm -hmm. and our vets. Well, are, those uh, those are allocated. Actually, those two processes are literally allocated. They, they are. There is a special provision where if there is no budget, it just reinstates the, the previous year's budget for those departments. Though uh, Social Security and Veteran Affairs, if I'm not mistaken, those two are always funded, no matter what happens. Okay, so they've changed it. I believe so. Like, I think, like, last, I think, I want to say the last Trump shutdown where they added that provision. Like, if if something were to happen and the government shuts down, those two, Social Security, Welfare, <laughs> and uh, Veterans Affairs, automatically get paid or automatically get funding, just reinstate the last year budget. Cool. Well... But then you've got uh, abs like uh, during COVID shutdown, you have uh, services that have to be there. 
mm-hmm. like our military, they have to go to work without pay. Again, you st- uh, so again, I bring this up because again, I'm I'm a government worker. I, I work for DHS. My I will I, I will be a furlough. I will get paid when the shutdown ends. Like I'll get money, but I'm not getting it. Say again, those two that month they shut down. I won't get paid for two pays, but the moment it reopens, I will get a paycheck, which will be a large lump sum that will include those two paychecks. So it will be like three paychecks all in one. Yeah, but so it would be it. like a deferred payment. Yeah, like a deferred payment. Yes. Or child support. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it's like it's not. What's the word I'm looking for? I'll get taxed a little heavier because I got all this money in one big check. Yeah, and that's that's where the rub is. Yeah, that is where the rub is. Yeah, but again, taxes are worked out yearly for wants like us. So he'll at the end of the year it'll be balanced out. Yeah, I'll get a little extra. I'll, I'll actually make when 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 tax time comes. Again, use myself. I think it was 20, either 2018, 2019, either 2018 going to 2019 is when we got the big shutdown and I got extra back on my pay, um, my taxes the following year. Yes, yeah, so it does balance out. It's a pain in the behind. Yes. But it balances. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, um, Belgium shut down and its government shut down for about 18 months fuck whoa and and the country didn't fall apart you know Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's a long time to not have a government (laughs) it was probably kind of nice yeah yes Well, the whole thing in this thing is this guy is just trying to justify his shit more than anything else. No, he's begging for he's begging for forgiveness. He's trying to justify what he did and like, oh, please don't 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 primary me. And, yeah, and this is what piss- he's trying to just he's just trying to justify it to make himself not look bad. Yeah, and this is what pisses me off about him in particular. You are coming here trying to say, oh, well, if if I didn't vote for it, you know, all these people wouldn't have gotten paid. And, and well, I didn't have a chance to read the 1,200-page bill. Because you're a retard. Because I'm a retard. He voted on something he didn't read? They dropped oh, this. Sh- and, and they dropped it at 2 a.m. and voted on it at 10 a.m. Yes. There's no fucking way you read twelve. Angela, I'm an avid reader. Um, I I would have abstained due to the inability to read the bill in yes. that amount of time. They do, I would have voted they, no. They do this shit all the goddamn time. It's one of the reasons yeah. why omnibus bills should be fucking gotten rid of. Yes, because there's no because they just shove shit in there that has nothing to do with it. My yes. favorite thing in there is the um, that it's like joke of, oh, like uh, we should uh, vote for this thing saying it's like you can't beat dogs and that whole thing and it passed. Okay, so what's it mean? So okay, uh, you know, animal abuse is now illegal. No, it means that you can't drink water. What? Um, it was it was a bill. I can't remember the bill. Um, but somehow they they reclassify bacon as a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, like it was part of a bill. It, it was I, a writer. Yeah. I never heard that, but I do know that for purposes of if you're in elementary school, ketchup is officially a vegetable by law. I mean, I know California went through the whole thing and reins or not reins, but uh, reclassified bees as fish. At least I'm pretty sure it was California. So that way they could put certain ones on the endangered species. But if I'm not mistaken, like one of the, the provisions was like, wait a minute, I think it's in this. Uh, if I go to the, the, the comment section, I can find it. Like it was just some ridiculous shit. Uh, wait a minute. 
It's somewhere in here, like 12 million for like a trans, uh, there it is, uh, 850K for a gay senior center, a senior's home. 15 million to pay for college tuitions in Egypt. 400,000 uh, for fucking LGBTQ organization to help kids transition. A DEI zoo. This shit is fucking ridiculous. 500,000 for uh, diversity and inclusion uh, zoo? Yep, a zoo, a DEI. Like, who in the fuck vote? <laughs> oh, diversity, right, equity, and inclusion. I, I have a small question. I have a small question. Yes. Tia. Yes. Hi, DMs. Oh, it's just you. I know it's just me, but that's rude. I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm, I'm just one of them days. By the way, uh, I like what Frost was saying. Terror working for the DHS. Today's terror threat level is negative square root or negative square root out of pi. I don't get the joke. <laughs> uh, your <laughs> asshole skill. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, 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 yeah. <laughs> math was never one of my strongest suits. You don't say. Go to hell. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's having a hard time finding the post office. I am. Oh. No, it's the DMV. Uh, that too. I know in my local post office is the DMV I can't <laughs> find. They keep moving that motherfucker. <laughs> No, but in, in all seriousness, a D. So what they do? They have black horses and white horses and say pre zebras. See, what we lost here. Tear trailed off as his internet went to shit. Yay. I'm just thinking about a diversity, equity, and inclusion museum and what that would look like. You have black horses on one side and white horses on the other. Um, pre zebras. <laughs> Frosted. I was trying to work a joke in along those lines, and there's nothing there that would have ended well. <laughs> No, there's a whole lot of monkeys at the front gate, but um, and you can't forget as well. They're gonna have the, the brown or closer to ginger style horses over on another spot. They're gonna call the indigenous horses. No, the red ones will just get painted black. Insulting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's see what else. How how can we make this more enjoyable? I don't know. He's already gone. I don't think you can get better than that. <laughs> wow. Uh, by the way, uh, this portion of the Midnight Show has been brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Oh. <laughs> Where you can enter the gift code cigarettes. And uh, two will show up at your house. It's brought to you by Jew Gold, uh, oh. Angela's company. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. But isn't that a pyrite company? Yeah. Well, I've seen South Park, and what they do is they have a bag of gold around their neck. All Jews do this. But they also have a bag of fake gold that they can give to people who know about the first bag of gold. Yes. The pyrite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can y'all hear me? No. Unfortunately. Oh, we can see you too. See, now tell me that if you didn't add makeup to that face, that that wouldn't be uh, Thelma. Go to hell. <laughs> 
I can see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Rod Corp is laughing because he knows I'm right. Yeah. Gotta have both of y'all. We shot with But uh, I'm sorry about that. I was in the middle of a rant and I was saying I would rather suffer today so that I may eat tomorrow. Yes, again, it, it will suck not getting paid for a minute. He would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger, for a hamburger today. I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. No, but but these politicians don't seem to grasp that concept. I, I have a very simple solution to fix politics across the world. If every country did this, there'd be no more political problems ever. If, Get rid of politicians? No. Oh. Well, sort of. If did not vote would be a winning candidate, then the team, then whatever office is being voted on gets vacated. And you have to have mm. an abstain option as well. So people can vote, abstain, or they can just not show up. And if did not vote combined with abstain would be a winning candidate, then the, the office is vacated. If only our, mm. our, our political system worked like that. Yeah, well, they're never going to introduce a, a law like that because that would immediately oust ninety percent of them from power. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like the um, whole. Um, oh, what should we call it? It's like the term limits. They won't do term limits for that reason. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they're a bunch of grifting bastards. Again. What is that? What if politics work like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Those who don't want the power get the power. Mm -hmm. Actually, I never mind. I again, our our system is so fucking broken, and it it, it attracts the worst people. Mm -hmm. It really does, and that's any system, you know. But right now, we're at this turning point in our society where we have people that hate our country leading our country. Well, I'm, I'm using America, but I'm pretty sure the UK has that same issue, too. And I'm pretty sure that some people in your country, Karibat, that are like that. Of course. You know, I they, don't think it's necessarily people who hate our country. It's people who can't understand that their job is to put their country above themselves. Uh, no, I think they're malicious. I don't think... They want whatever is going to give them the most money and advantage. Yeah, oh, well, they're obviously self-motivated, but a lot of them, I do believe, would like to see the, the United States or the West in general destroyed. Again, all right, so... Do they not like these? Are the, this is one reason why I, I avidly study history. Like history told us, the first after the revolutionary the revolution happens, and you know the dissenters are ousted <laughs> and killed. Who they go after next? The people that helped them. Yeah, because you don't need revolutionaries once the revolutions happened. Very yeah. good, comrade. Please face the wall. But plus, the revolutionaries know too much. They're the ones who are going to get disillusioned when they realize that the new system isn't, isn't what they thought it was. Promised. Yeah. So you need to kill the revolutionaries, otherwise they'll revolt against the new system just like they revolted against the last one. Yes. Um, Travis Gardner put up, a, it was a movie trailer, I think it was called like Three Bodies or something. And it was talking about how like the, uh, Mao, the, the Chinese revolution happened. And would not, and I, I, I need to watch that movie. That this again, people don't fucking learn from history, and we're doomed to fucking repeat it because these fucks don't want to learn those lessons. And 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 then you got Chinese, you got a uh, former um, defectors from China sounding the alarm bells. Hey, this happened in my country. Don't let it happen here. Oh, man. 
this, this shit pisses me the fuck off. I love my homeland. My homeland ain't perfect. Far from it. But at least it's my homeland. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, you get idiots like AOC earlier this week. Uh, Cite the crime. It's Rico. It, Rico oh, is a yeah. category. Rico's not yeah. crime. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, you got morons like that. See, back when I was in school, the you could always you could hear the class's eyes roll when the stupid person that would uh, raise their hand and start their question off with, "I don't think." Of course, you don't fucking think that's part of the problem. Yeah, I feel it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you we know? don't think. We know you're NPC. It's okay. We love you. It's just one of those things. And, you know, I, I'm going to have to say it again. I know I said it before. I don't know if I said it in here. Limp Biscuit was right. Everything is fucked and everybody sucks. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, was say, I was hoping you were going to say Limp Biscuit was right. You really should keep rolling. <laughs> keep that rolling. too. Uh, or. <laughs> Uh, the dead AOC shit. Uh, I wonder, um, twenty years from now, if she's still in politics, I really hope she gains a brain cell. She won. Just one. She won. Oh, she. Ha I think she has. She's just disingenuous as fuck. No, you... I think she's literally that stupid. Uh, it's two incidences of her that I want to bring up. Do y'all remember the dark money uh, comment and the, uh, the the gate incident? Yep. The gate incident? Where she uh, went... well, Go ahead, James. Explain it. Uh, she went down to the border where they were supposedly holding... Uh, <laughs> she was in a parking lot. Kids in cages. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, there was up close of her gripping a chain link fence, but she was in a part like a front or Throtten just said, if you expand out that uh, photo, it's of her uh, holding on to a parking lot fence. Yes, fence. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know. I wonder if I can find a picture of it. It, it is, it is the, and she's crying like, oh my God, this is the saddest thing ever. And she's an old white AOC parking lot. She's crying because she couldn't find the cages with the kids in them. Well, that's she because just... uh, Obama had them. <laughs> yeah. 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 This, 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 she looks so sad and forlorn. Let me put it up. Uh, you'll see park a lot. Yeah. Let me, let me. She, she, she looks so sad, so, so, so fragile, so hurt. I wonder. I guess y'all can't see it. Let me zoom in a little. Better? No, because it, it's not got the one picture where I'm she's holding the chain link. Oh, I'll, I can, I'll pick that out. If you want me to find it, there it is. Found it. The look on her face is priceless. Yes. Bless her retarded heart. There it is. <laughs> it, the, the photo op, the, 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 it was a huge ass fucking photo op. It, and yeah, she looks funny. like she's standing in front of a wind machine in a music video. Yes. The it's funny thing about, about it is... Politics. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, her gripping a... Her being in white and gripping a fence. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Inmates in Texas were white, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, the scene from freaking... Uh, 
of the what was it the third or the part of the no it was part of the second freaking um terminator oh you're talking about um sarcana so, when she, she yeah. left at the yeah. end yes because there is actually a um there's the version of that where they get new and then there's another version of that there's two endings to it if you watch the extended call where she sees her grandkids where she's watching yes. her grandkids yeah and it's and it's non nuki i mean that was probably the true ending <laughs> frothing glass here that's not the border so i'm trying to keep the six flags at their clothes yeah it's kind of a bummer <laughs> Frost did never change. <laughs> yeah, she went down on a blackout day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I'd be more pissed off than uh, Griswold at uh, going to Wally World. Yes, I was gonna say she was trying to get into grad night. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> but do you remember? Oh, well, it, it recently happened where she where she was accosted by her own uh, constituents. No. Um, she 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 was coming out of I think a movie theater, and her some some hecklers followed her and asked her. Clearly on the left, started asking her like, so why don't you uh, advocate for the Palestine? Uh, you know, ceasefire. Why don't you advocate for the ceasefire? You know, free Palestine. Why, why can't you say it? Why can't you say uh, it? Right. You know why she can't say it. Yep, it's not democratically approved. She may it's not a, actually a penny sponsored by Jugold. And they're up supporting ASA. <laughs> No, there is the possibility that that might be the bridge too far for her. Well, all right. So the all four, the three of the uh, squad came out and said to fire to leave. Uh, Rashid to leave. Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, and uh, AOC is the only one that hasn't come out and said anything. That's because so AOC well, grew up in New York, surrounded by Jews. That's true. The other ones are all freaking Islamic. And they're in the middle. I mean, um, right. Ellen Omar. I mean, apart from their brother, the. Oh, sorry. Oh, God, I can't remember. Dearborn's Michigan. It's a, once you get out, the state's so white, apart from like a couple of. Major, major cities mm -hmm. that have that she can get away with it. That don't have big Jewish concentrations. God damn it! I wonder. I wonder. Ilhan Omar is Muslim. She is going to say free Palestine. Yes. The same with Rashida yeah. Tlaib. And yeah. honestly, I, I had this uh, conversation. Presley, but... I had this conversation with someone online a while back. The Palestinians and Israelites have been going at it. It's their fights have been well documented because it's biblical. Well, now he's... the problem is. This uh, this Hamas thing and uh, Israel going in to wipe out Hamas. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Yep. So all they're doing is uh, voiding their membership. <laughs> okay. Yeah, can I just say as well, um, Presley is um, Massachusetts. I mean, holy shit, you can't get any more waspy if you tried. Yeah. Well, my point wasn't uh, the state that they're from. My point was the um, 
religion that they follow. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know about Presley. I do know that Talib and Omar are both Muslim. Uh, yes, but you know, <clears throat> honest, honestly, this is how I feel about that entire situation. If if your own religious members don't want to take you in, that says a lot about you. There is an exit into Egypt that they could go into, but Egypt doesn't want them. No, they're trying to foist them on Ireland. Uh, again, like you can't make make two you can't make two religions. What's the word look for? Some cultures are incompatible. Yeah, well, as I've said before and will say again, I honestly don't care. I hope they both destroy each other. It's been going on for 3,000 years. Carry on. I don't care. Yeah. I think I mean, the, the bigger gun should, should, should just wipe it out, turn it into glass, be done with it. Turn it into a parking yeah. lot. And honestly, let's let's really break this down here. If there was not a shit ton of oil in that region, who would really give a fuck? Yep. If there was something that we couldn't exploit out of it, would we actually even give a damn about who did what to who? Of course no. Mm -mm. Exactly. So... Shit, the only reason why we really care about ta uh, Taiwan is, is fucking copper. Is, is Michael mm -hmm. James. That, that, That's not it, the only reason. It's primarily the reason. Primarily. That's not the only reason, though. I mean, if you got to think about it, think about a lot of your goods and stuff that are manufactured. Yeah, it gets shipped through those uh, canals or those that, that region. And, um, well, I wasn't even thinking about the shipping. I'm just talking about the manufacturing aspect. And this is another reason why we should be manufacturing shit in-house. We should, there are certain goods that should be manufactured outside, stuff that we can't do, you know, but most of the shit we, we make or we need should be done here. That way, if someone cuts us off, we go, fuck you, we got our own. I don't think we should be giving selling our mineral rights to uh, foreign powers. Agreed. I mean, honestly, we should do it like uh, other countries. Uh, I mean, if we still if we steal things from like France, mm -hmm. you have six months to learn the French language. Otherwise, your uh, visa and application is denied for citizenship. Mm. Agreed. In Mexico. You cannot own, own any kind of uh, oceanfront property or any prime real estate. You're stuck with shit. Now, I think we need to get a little tougher on our immigration policy on that front. Mm -hmm. And what they can and cannot have that is ours. I don't... Um, controversial opinion, and I wanted to say this um, when this shit came out. I don't think we should be banning TikTok. No, because again, that bill is so vaguely worded. Twitter's next. And and oh, that's what I thought. They're slippery slope. Fucking power grab. It's yeah. a slippery, it's a double-edged sword, and I don't like the government wielding it. No. I, I well, don't want to wield it. The nine words oh. that should strike fair into the heart of anyone. I'm, I'm from the government. I'm here to help. help. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but here's the person, if we want to have this debate and discussion, there's, uh, oh, fuck, what's his name? I know his name. Oh. But I'm oxygen deprived and, um, uh, Mitch. Oh, Mitch will be on next week. 
See, this is that would be the perfect time to have that conversation because this motherfucker, that motherfucker, has studied the Constitution, and I don't, I don't want to disrespect uh, Mitch by saying calling him a motherfucker. I don't mean that in that term, you know. Well, I'm that pretty man. sure Mitch has banged a mom or two. So, uh, okay, but you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's not towards you're not, you're not using it in a derogatory fashion. Right, is what I'm trying to get at. But Mitch knows a lot about this Constitution. We had a conversation about something similar a while back on uh, one of my nerd out streams. And he's quite knowledgeable. Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, him and uh, he had a co-host that they had uh, the Ridgedale brand. Um, Arthur. Mm -hmm. Yes, Walter Nix. But yeah, they uh, wrote a book over that, over the Constitution and what powers they actually had. Congress and the separation of powers and everything and how it's all. They, done, they did it like a um, Constitution for dummies. Maybe we need, that's what we need. We need to bring back civics class. We need to bring, we need to make sure that everybody in government can pass a basic fucking civics class. Now, social studies, civics. Yeah, I've seen. How well, I don't really care what's, what's in a woman's body. It's her choice. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cervix. I'm sorry. Civics, <laughs> not cervix. <laughs> well, I mean, the prime example of that was um, Roe v. Wade and then the Dobbs decision because the fuckery that went on and the stretching and twisting of the Constitution to get Roe passed in the first instance and then the re -in about the Dobbs decision because Dobbs was right in the the Dobbs decision was right because it because it returned something that was never in, in the constitution even in the penumbra back to the states where it should have been okay because anything not specifically in the Constitution, <clears throat> falls to the states. Yeah. It, 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 again, okay. Sorry, go on, Tia. No, I, w I was going to say that it, anything not expressly, for, just like I said, anything not expressly outlined in the Constitution is a state issue. And if one state wants to ban it and another state wants to keep it, it's all well and good. You don't have to stay in your – if your state bans abortion, you don't have to stay there. You can go. You can leave. Well, don't keep the you there. I don't think there's any actual state that's 100% banned abortion. They've just limited it. Yes. And a lot of cases basically taking it away from when it's just going to be used as a convenience. Well, here's the thing, right? Um, hang on, bear with me a moment because I have something. Sure, you want me to uh, share it and I'll put it up? Yeah, I'll drop some linkies in the private chat. Um, bear with me a moment. Oh, fuck, that's not the one I wanted. Okay, well, he's doing that. Um, for us, it brought up an interesting point about the Electoral College. We have an Electoral College for, because uh, just having an electric, Electoral High School diploma doesn't get you very far anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Electoral. It's just Electoral. Electoral. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, remember, he's he's from Texas, so it's Torial. Yeah, well, that's just like I, This isn't like, you know, because... Uh, like how Spud or you know Terry will say aluminium because they're saying the element, not 
aluminum as we're saying of like the foil or the product since there's two actual different spellings yeah and the aluminium <laughs> well now, depending on what it is quite literally it is called aluminum a aluminium <laughs> it's not the element like in this situation like you're right aluminium. about the element but you're wrong about how about the one thing it's aluminium and aluminium foil that's where you're wrong i'm english i invented the fucking language <laughs> you didn't invent shit bitch for the record in te Please. texas has its own language it's like a, i was trying to explain to angela the other day oh, yeah no. you can fill up your car with a gas or you can fill up your girlfriend. It's the same word. It's the same word, just spelled different. Um, and we pronounce it the same way. If I said this phrase, earn, 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 I, I, I would actually say three words. Uh, again, that, say that again. Across the entire country of that, like if you say I lost my khakis and and most of the country, they're going to think you lost pants. You say you lost your khakis in Boston, they're going to be like, oh, shit, he lost his car keys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Both yeah. the khakis. And then if you go somewhere in Louisiana and that whole thing, they're probably speaking French Creole, and you just want to shoot him. Be like a... Um, because you're pretty sure they're speaking boy. fucking tongues and trying to summon the devil. <laughs> be like a water boy. How am I making <laughs> No, and that wasn't the water boy. No, that was Joe Dirt. That was Joe Dirt. Yeah. He likes to see homos naked. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Right, just two ticks, because I've got something about the... Um, basically, there was a, a quick and dirty study done in Florida, and most of the abortions that were done um were basically for were not for it was done as birth control that's what most abortions are nowadays birth control yeah well they're done um, out of convenience and some people try to treat them as if they're birth control because everyone knows sex without a con sex not using contraceptives it's going to feel better. All this right, is like so, the goddamn retarded ass argument that I had on Twitter the other week to where some, someone was saying because they got pregnant that they consent to a, an abortion and someone else responded, I consented to sex. I didn't consent to pregnancy. And it's like, look, you dumb bitch. If you consent to the unprotected heterosexual sex, you consent to the potential consequence of having unprotected heterosexual, heterosexual sex. sex and people did not fucking get that when i was specifying so what you saying then rotten is you need to stick it up the pooper <laughs> but that would hurt well in that situation you would still consent to any plausible can or i shouldn't say plot yeah. will like potential outcomes that come from that like politicians <laughs> <laughs> well the really funny thing was some other chick tried to say to me oh so by your logic we shouldn't can, uh we shouldn't uh treat stds because those are a potential outcome of sex and it's like i didn't say we shouldn't treat stds i didn't even say we shouldn't treat pregnancy you dumb bitch oh well, i didn't say it that mean i was like i didn't say either of those Oh, you no, I completely okay. consented to getting drunk. You don't treat pregnancy by having an abortion. You treat pregnancy by getting prenatal care. That would be one of use for the cops. And the funny thing is, is like, because I can actually kind of roll that into another thing. Have you all heard about the politician trying to uh, have legislation drafted for quote unquote zombie guns? What? Okay, so I'm guessing you guys probably aren't aware of what quote-unquote zombie guns are. I am. Um... Okay, for anyone who isn't of the aware, <laughs> what a zombie gun is, is when a person 
gives up a gun for it to be destroyed either to the atf or typically to some other agency so not necessarily the atf they will take anything that's not technically the frame that's the registered part that's considered a firearm mm -hmm. that can be reused and they will sell that off for a profit so by not destroying those they're you know they're saying they're zombie guns because they're being used in anything of that it's like okay by that logic then if a car is classified as totaled I shouldn't, or it's like a uh, salvage yard or whatnot. Should be able to, should not be able to take any parts that are still good off of it and either refurbish them or sell them because they're still good. Because then we would have zombie cars. Yep. See, that's an actual analogy of how that would work instead of saying by your logic. <laughs> well, if we go, um, if, I, if we go back about ten years ago uh they had the zombie guns or knives or whatever and they typically were painted some weird ass neon green with like fake uh blood paint on there as well why i don't fucking know right tia i found what i was looking for uh right. you too has it uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and it's um, words. Right, and it's under the section why do abortions occur? Uh, okay, hold on, put it up now. Uh, ghost gun wins. It goes through anything. Yeah, I still go back with the one tweet I had to where. I got to quote Cat Williams' character, the former pimp from I think it's the third Friday move, movie. Don't be care. I was like, don't be sorry. Be careful, ho. <laughs> Am I reading here? Yes, it's just why do abortions occur? Oh, we already know that like the the victims of rape or sexual molestation. As in a specific of section of this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, like if you scroll all the uh, all the way I down. I got it. Okay. In 2004, the Guttmacher Institute anonymously surveyed 1,209 post-abortive women from nine different abortion clinics across the country. Of the women surveyed, 957 provided a main reason for having an abortion. This table lists each reason and the percentage of responses who chose it? See, um, can you zoom in on the table? Uh, sure. Yeah. We have less than 0.5% being victims of rape, 3% being fetal health problems, 4% being physical health problems. That would be health of the mother. Yeah, I know. 4% would interfere with education or career. 7% not mature enough to raise a child, 8% don't want to be a single mother, 19% done having children, 23% can't afford a baby, 25% not ready for a child, and 6% other. Uh, and the then the, yeah. State sorry. of Florida, I'm sorry. No, I was apologizing for interrupting. The state of Florida records reason, uh, uh, records a reason for every abortion that occurs within its borders each year. In 2021, there were 79,817 abortions in Florida. This table lists each reason and the percentage of abortions that occurred because of it. 0.01% the pregnancy resulted from an incestuous relationship. 0.15% the woman was raped. 0.15% the woman's life was endangered by the pregnancy. 0.95% there was serious fetal abnormality, 1.34%. The woman's physical health was threatened by the pregnancy. 
1.89% of the women's psychological health was threatened by the pregnancy. 21.3% of the women aborted for social or economic reasons. 74.2% no reason. So basically 95% of abortions are because fuck that kid. Again, it whatever happened to safe, but rare, you know, safely or rare. What, what safely happened to the rare part? Rare. Yeah. What happened to the rare part? I've got something for that. I definitely uh, have something for that. To use a very, very <clears throat> crude joke uh, that some people would find very offensive. It's a... Uh, a lot of women decided they wanted to get road dog like the road or raw dogs like the road whore. Yes, you're right. It, it was never about making it right. Like they, the moment this was allowed, it was never going to be rare. It was going to be used as a, more, a, a form of population control and birth control. Like, why do you like? All right, every day. I go to, I, I have to go downtown to get my train to get to work. I pass an abortion clinic. It is the middle of downtown Baltimore, the heart of my city. And you can see it on a major artery of traffic that Planned Parenthood, as you go by, right by, you know, not that far there is a set of projects or, um, no, um, Second aid housing, not that far away. Like you could spit and hit that building. Yep. You know, further down is another set of um, low rent housing. Like honestly, it's where the black kids congregate. Like it, it this shit is fucking planned, and they Ooh. don't see that. Well, yeah, they don't see that because they're taught not to. Okay, because if you look at... Um, if you look at where the whole abortion and pushing for abortion to be more socially acceptable actually comes from, right? It's Margaret Sanger, by the way. Um, Margaret Sanger wasn't a big fan eugenicist. of our black yeah, friends. She was eugenicist. Yeah. You know. Margaret well, Sanger sees now wrong with dead black kids. I'll say if we want after this, I got a, I got a palate cleanser. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I got to get back to Yeah, set up. Wait, wait a minute, James. Wait a minute, Angela. Did you ever want me to read this first article that Spud Gun pulled up? Oh, want to read it, Spud? Um, I'm happy to read it, or Angela can read it, whichever works. All right, let's let's do a quick palate cleanser. You know, let's let's watch some Mr. Rain and then watch Frosties. Oh, uh, God damn it, Rodden's. Jesus Christ, don't hate me, Spud Gun. All right, not right. I'm confused. Okay. My phone. Sophia? Yeah? Did you take my phone? No. Get it out of <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, Rodney. You have the stage. <laughs> oh. It'd be like smooth. What? Can you teach me how to? You know why? Cause I'm. <laughs> Realizing you're in over your head. <laughs> cha cha, real <Yeah>. smooth. <laughs> well, guys, I am gonna have to dip. My phone is starting to overheat again. Cha cha, real smooth. All right, All right James. All right, y'all have a James. good night. See you, James. You as well. Good night. Good night. Good night. I mean, if I really wanted to play something that could 
that would definitely not be a palate cleanser. I could play one of the uh, huh? The, the woman, the, the woman's boyfriend is reading her own eroticas that she's bought. But he's doing him in different voices. So he's oh like, yeah, that's fucking oh, hilarious. That was so hilarious. <laughs> right, Tia, can you swap Terry and Angela, please? Oh no, 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 because <laughs> I'm about to uh, uh, invite. Uh, well, he he usually is replacing the James. Right. Okay. No problem. <laughs> replacing the James. You're up. Uh. Where are you, Mark? Will, you are not a replacement for James. You are just a wonderful friend who fills in when we lose our... Is that going to be Will? Yes, that's Will. Yeah. Hi, Will. It, it's, it's the hot, he, he's, he's a member of the, hot, uh, the Will Collective, and, you know, we call him what, There he is. He is the Will Collective. Oh, you put it as your avatar. It is so cool. I love that picture. Sorry. That picture. Uh, <laughs> my, I guess you could say my best friend uh, fills up on my uh, stream chat as Molly Brat. Uh, the reason why I'm still alive and around because she's the one that he called out her services. Right? Oh, can you hear okay. me? Yep, you're I here. hear you. Okay, uh, when I had the ketoacidosis episode uh she's the one that got concerned about not getting any replies from me for a couple of days and got emergency people involved so very much the reason why i'm still alive and she's gotten very good at uh finding the right uh, wording for uh ai prompts for picture generators so well next next time i see her i'm going to say thank you yeah. I was going to say, tell her thank you, please. Tell All her right. I want me money back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Money yet. Want my money, Brian. Want my money. All right. Uh, what is this that you want me to play, Rodden? Oh, this one. Yes. This is funny. Oh, this is. <laughs> Want it, ready? Old and young, beautiful and grotesque, my bowels turned watery. What? Oh, <laughs> holy cow. My bowels turned watery. You can move past it. My bowels turned watery. No. <laughs> my bowels turned watery. No. Uh, my bowels turned watery. Uh, my bowels turned watery. <laughs> Not to <laughs> My bowels turned watery. Yay! <laughs> that was so watery, huh? Did you set this clever, wicked trap for me? Now, bury the platypus, my bowels turned watery. My bowels turned watery. My bowels turned watery. My bowels turned watery. My bowels, nope. My bowels. <laughs> no, I can't do it. My bowels turned watery. Ah! You're done. You're done. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the hell she's reading that that is in a freaking housewife's a porn. court of thrones of a court of thorns and roses. That is quite literally the cover of the book. Oh my god, I couldn't get it to where I could read the cover. Yeah. It sounds a bit I like wanna... the, the, the scribe always quotes is was it uh, screw the thorns? Screw the roses, and send me the thorns. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's actually okay. That's actually a good uh, book, <laughs> and it's not a housewife's porn. No, from <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want a trainer properly, then yes, it is. <laughs> My bowels are watery. My bowels are. Watery. Yeah, that is not. No. Yes. They do not under uh, understand what that means. They can't understand what that means. That is not what you want in a body stripper. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they're German. You don't know. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Her boobs and... breasted. Her what? 
<laughs> I've seen that one where it's like they'll put how it's like men writing women. It's like she went down the stairs, then she went down the stairs, her breast breasted breastily. It's like <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Heaving and, like, and breathing. That, that, that makes less sense to being like, oh, she got that spiral ham grip. And it's like, I don't know what that means, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what that means. I don't want to know what that means. <laughs> no, I'm good not one. knowing it. I, I'm good not knowing it. I, I'm just, you know what? I'm good. Uh, yes. I'm going to put it up. Uh, if you want to read, let me, wait a minute. Where is it? There it is. Uh, this one. This shit here. Can y'all see it? Mm-hmm. Dark mode T, you fucking heathen. What? Does nobody use dark mode on the internet? What? No, no I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't use dark mode. As no. in so that you, you're into webbies. Well, I'm not aware black, of, of black background. Or StreamYard's having a dark mode, but otherwise everything else I can, I do. Uh, I just leave it yeah, whatever the default is. To. So uh, right. my YouTube is on light mode. Um, there was okay. one website that defaulted to dark mode, so I just left it on dark mode. I don't. I don't really care either way. I, I usually don't put anything in dark mode because it screws up uh, certain things on my computer. So. I, I try to palm. go dark mode unless I see something <laughs> screwed up, and then I turn that one away from dark mode. Okay. Yeah, the, the it, 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 you, you look at you know black chicks and they just blend in it's, and just wrong. You mean dark mode by default? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spud, you have the floor. Oh, am I reading it? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Put your ass to work. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, so woke doctors thought that a tool that accounts for ethnic differences in kidney function was racist, so they removed it and screwed up the entire kidney transplant database. Um, modern medicine has known for years that there are, there are some basic physiological differences between ethnicities that require different types of health care. One of these differences is that black people tend to have higher serum creatine concentrations than white people up to six times higher. What is normal for a black person might be end-stage kidney disease for a white person. These differences have been assumed to be largely related to race-related differences in body composition, composition, especially muscle mass. When determining the advancement of kidney disease, doctors use an estimated glom Glomerular, yellow, glomerular filtration rate (EGFR) to determine how fast the kidneys are removing the excess create create. Fuck me. Thing here. Cre cre creatine um, from the body. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> and um, the kidney transplant list uses the EGFR to determine the order in which patients would receive kidneys. Rationally, the EGFR included an ethnicity-based calculation to account for the different normal levels of creatine um, so that really sick people would get transplants first and people who were not sick would not get a transplant that they did not need. Seems rational, right? Too bad that the age of science, with all its rationale and reason, is at an end. Um, the Wokies who have taken over the once prestigious institutions, like the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine, the American Society of Nephrology, um, that's basically um, kidneys, for anybody who didn't know. Yes. Yep. Um, the... 
National Kidney Foundation and the Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network have come together and decided that the sciencey stuff that saved people's lives was actually systemic racism, so they deleted the much-needed race-based constants from the EGFR scores. According to a team of researchers publishing in the Journal of American Society of Nephrology, the new formula will deem more than 10 million non-black patients to have either less severe chronic kidney disease or no disease at all, while deeming that more than 1 million black patients had to have more severe disease or to have the disease for the first time. Because the new formula doesn't include the necessary racial adjustments, however, these reclassifications misrepresent reality. So now a healthy black person can get a kidney transplant before a dying white person. Since January 1st, 2023, 6,103 black people have displaced white people with more severe kidney disease on the list, increasing the wait time for sicker kidney patients by 1.7 years and 491 less sick patients actually received a kidney transplant because of their race. We really should switch equity and inclusion in the DEI acronym. Yes. Yes. Right. So basically what it is, is it's the way kidneys filter. There is a racial racial component to it. Basically, if, if I took a black kidney and gave it to a white guy, it would do... Uh, it would basically not even sweat it right but if i put a white guy kidney into a black guy it will probably go uh fucking no and burn out in about three seconds because they actually have to mark them so as uh, black kidney white kidney because of the creatine production in black people? It, it, it's less powerful. Uh, a sad but true fact is from what you're gathering, what we've read, is that it's less powerful than a black kid because genetic reasons. Well, yeah, because we don't produce as much. So therefore, we don't need to clear out as much. Mm -hmm. And these fucking idiots have spanned it. And killed people. Yes. Which, yeah, sorry. <sighs> Look, again, I, re I, re I restate what I said. If you need something, if you're on death's door, Versus me, who it's like being at a doctor's, you know, triage. Yes. Is, is, yeah, triage. You know, you don't prioritize the 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 guy with the splinter versus the guy that got his guts hanging out. Yes. Oh well, you're black, so your splinter is is worth more than his fucking guts hanging out. Well, obviously. You know, because he's a white guy. He he. he <laughs> Right. Um, I would like to point out I did make a mistake whilst reading the article. It's creatinine, um, <laughs> which is a um, metabolite of the creatine. Yeah, creatine is used by like weightlifters and shit. Something I don't use. Yeah, it's a uh, metabolite. It's also something that is produced by your body. But... Yeah, you... and... But... And the creatinine is the metabolite of it. It basically <clears throat> breaks down. The creatine okay. breaks down it into creat. Creat. <laughs> Fuck yes. me, I hate that. That word. Creatinine. Yeah. 
and so yeah so apologies for that it's all uh, good my yeah. friend but if this 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 shit is going to kill more people than it's going to save and well, that's not going to save anybody you're right it's not going to save anybody it's going to make shit far worse the uh, diversity equity and inclusion is the death knell of everything well, it's the death knell of science. You know, these facts, these these things that we've... These things that we have found out because shit mm -hmm. got bad at a, at a time. It's like, if I give you one of my white boy kidneys, right, you're mm. fucked. You know, but if... If you give me one of your black boy kidneys, I'm gonna be able to say nigger and also. <laughs> you, can always, you, you can always say nigger. I gave you a nigger pass. Well, it's that whole thing is it's it's not socially uh, disadvantageous to say it anymore, and obviously by by taking a black person's kidney as well, it's gonna change your melanin where everyone's gonna think you have a big wiener. No, <laughs> they're gonna automatically assume black person's kidney. They have a big wiener. Well, he he'd be a quarter black. That's a pretty big kidney. Wow. <laughs> no, baby, that's just wow. my kidney. <laughs> Is that you? You have. Uh, you got something in your pocket. You just had to see now, nah, baby. That's just my black kidney. Tyrone uh, gave me his. <laughs> oh, no. oh, shit. You could start calling women a bitch like, bitch, please. Oh, black. no. <laughs> Look, he, he got a black You got a black kidney. Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say it, though, because... Because uh, it would just sound wrong. <laughs> I mean, the, the ultimate thing to be would be to have a little person or a dwarf have something like that. Because then you can pull the <laughs> oh. Brad Williams joke where he said the reason why he would want to be black is because then you could say he could say that he's a black midget, otherwise he's otherwise known as a niglet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, we're going to hell. Yes. Except for Andrew. You're the corner last night. You've already been there. That's true. Huh. <laughs> Fucking frosty. <laughs> um, oh, this, it, one, this, this one's for rot. This, again, this... The, oh, yeah, I've this, seen that before. The DI shit. Oh, God. The fuck? Hey, look this, at the hat. ATF. Yeah. No, that can't be the ATF. He's not pointing it at a dog. There's no dog ah! to point at. So he got put in he's himself. Think, he's thinking. I was going to say, he is a dog. He's thinking of a dog. That's why he's pointing at his brain. Randy Weaver did nothing wrong. Got to clear those thoughts out. <laughs> Randy Weaver was not the greatest person in the world by any means. Totally fucked. You sound you sound muffled, my friend. Don't tell no. my fucking levels dropped. It, no, you went muffled. It was like you were speaking through a sack of cotton. You you were real close to adults in Charlie Brown level. Yeah, because my fucking levels went retarded again. <laughs> fucking drop down. I was saying like Randy Weaver wasn't necessarily the best person in the world, but they straight up fucked him over, and then the ATF lied. I mean, considering the fact we have, you know, all the other shit plus Waco plus Ruby Ridge plus the most recent No Knock raid to where they killed a, the ATF fucking killed a person because That's they, the which, one they've done in the which last one year. was that? Um, oh, fuck, I can't remember the guy's name. Yeah, they no-knock raided, fucking went directly into his house because someone broke into his house. He shot at them, so they shot at him. Like, quite literally, they just got a warrant to kill him. Was that the guy that... Was that the, the Trump supporter? No, this is the guy that he just sold guns and they tried to 
uh, see, they try to justify it being someone came, an ATF person came up there and said, Hey, I don't see this. Can you get this gun? It's like, do you have this? Is what I'm looking for. He's like, I'll see if I can get it. Hang on. You know, re re entrapment laws exist. Just saying. Well, the ATF doesn't to, care. They're trying to go. They were trying to go after him for selling guns without an FFL, but technically it was a private sale. So, like, suck a dick, bro. It was a private sale, and to double down, if he's you know if he's selling from his own collection. Or if he's selling yeah. at cost, yeah, then he doesn't meet the legal requirements. Or he might know a guy who knows a guy, so he can yeah. get it for you completely legally. And I actually do mean completely legally, not from you know like perfectly legitimate websites. The point that Rotten was making, I think, is that just because worse wrong was done to him does not mean that his wrongs were not wrong. Yeah. Oh, that's no, like David Koresh was a piece of shit, but they did not. That should should not have happened at fucking Waco. Not at all. Monsters can be monsters, but it still doesn't justify what they did to a monster. Well, um, look at what they did to Vicky. I mean, she was holding a kid, and and the bastard cold cocked her. Well, Vicky, the, the closest thing he could bring Weaver's wife. The, um, Vicky, close, the only thing that he can quite literally say. Is that quite literally he didn't know she was there because the door she was holding open had no window. Bollocks. But still, how the fuck how, are you gonna fire through a goddamn door? How did he know she was there if there was no window? Well, he just saw that the door was open because he was taking pot shots at them because their fucking rules of engagement were absolutely retarded and they weren't the, what the standard rules of engagement were supposed to be since I just rewatched this fucking video today from uh, Wendigoon. I still need to watch Dankula's. Yeah, Wendigoon's done it. Dankula's done it. I also think Simon Whistler's done it on the casual criminalist. Was it, um, what was, not, was, was it my office? That was, no, it wasn't my office. <laughs> Yeah, the best part of that story that I still love for the whole thing is uh, I think it's Bo Jackson. What was the guy's name? I know it's Bo something. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was Bo Jackson. I could be wrong. But because uh, they tried to have Randy Weaver's sister talk to him, but when she was, they wouldn't let her go to the door or anything because reasons. And when they brought Bo there, like he's trying to freaking use the megaphone, but they have him facing away so you can't hear shit. And he's basically just like, fuck this shit. Fuck you guys. Walks out of the tank, walks up to the door, knocks on the door. The door. Yeah. And it's just like, can we talk? Like, so much of that shit got fucked up because the fucking federal marshal <laughs> fucked up by that whole uh, Everybody, that whole thing. Yeah. Oh, right. The incident itself, right. Well, I'm actually going to say the Weaver was pretty much blameless for. The only thing he was not blameless for was failing to show up to court when he hadn't been informed that she had had changed back. No, because the and that's still not him, and that's still not fully him at fault, but that is him at fault for not checking his mail. But that's still, but that's actually his legal team's fault for fucking up. It's a lot of blame to go around. Yeah, yeah and he very, had very little. You know, and um, and the marshals shot the dog. Oh, they shot the dog. Never fucking identified themselves. Any of that shit. Like technically, for everything, they didn't even have a warrant to be on his property. And with what they were doing, um, there would be no implied consent for that. That was just straight trespass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking evil. Yes. I mean, the shot is dog, his son, and his wife. And didn't didn't several of them get promoted? Like, I cannot remember. Um, well, the FBI sniper team. Guess guess where they went on to? Yeah, they went to Waco after that. And yeah. wasn't my one they of tried, like well they tried to they tried to uh Mark Garland. There it is. That's what the guy who shot. 
uh, Vicky. And every time the fucking federal government can't kept saying, oh, no, since this is a federal thing, you can't try him on that. We have to try it. And it just kept getting dropped. Yep. That's some that, bullshit. That whole scenario is straight fucked. It's the reason why they went so hard during Waco was because they wanted to win. They needed something to make them look good because Ruby Ridge made them look fucking terrible. And they kept thinking that Waco was going to be like a fucking Jonestown thing, but it wasn't. Like, and then the mar with the the whole thing of like killing his son, like the marshal straight up lied about what happened. Yes, because they said they identified themselves, which everything that brought up for the evidence, and they were in a major gunfight and whatnot, and all the evidence was just against them. So well, the that, FBI lied to the marshals, and then the marshals lied to the FBI again. And well, the whole thing got started because Randy Weaver went to court, or the ATF, lied and. To the over a land dispute won and the guy that he won against claimed that he was a white supremacist so they looked into him or they or not i'm sorry that it wasn't that he was white supremacist was that he was planning to kill the president the president yeah i actually and have because seen of the that lagoon. they found out that he had gone to the the one or it's like to a couple Aryan things because basically he was just using them for odd jobs to have money he didn't necessarily agree with them Hey, and using logic is cheating. I played Goldeneye. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, exactly. He and then he they did. did the whole fucking entrapment for the uh, NFA regulated items. And I still do want to say this: if you have not watched the Windagoon thing, when he gets the NFA, I it still makes me laugh to this day. He's like, "So, you want to learn about firearms laws?" Shame. I'm sorry. And I fucking just start laughing. <laughs> He's like, "That's a shame." Well, oh. the thing is, I mean, he, right, because basically what the um, ATF did, for those who aren't in the know, was they basically said to Randy Weaver, hey, can you basically get, um, can you basically saw off these shotguns? Hey, the ra all the rage right now is short barreled items. Mm, so can yeah. you make us two shotguns that are short that are short barreled so they're below 18 and a half inches? Which under the NFA is the um legal length. The yeah. NFA is the National Firearms Act. Yep, that was put back in the 1920s to pretty much hope or the the hope was was they could catch criminals who had those things done before they could commit a crime to potentially stop them from committing a crime. Yeah. But then Which of course he... has never worked. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> under Bruin, you have I mean you have the potential of getting it overruled. And there's stuff in the NFA anyway that should have been spiked into the pavement uh constitutionally decades ago because mm -hmm. it includes targeted taxes on Second Amendment protected items. Yeah, oh, well... Targeted taxes on a right are illegal. That's that's already been ruled by the Supreme Court. And yeah. that's the fucked up part is the ATF for part of their justification for trying to keep it is if they, they lose the NFA, they lose that tax revenue. And it's like, motherfucker, that's just you stealing from people. Worse, that is that is you violating citizens' rights, and it disproportionately. Anytime you get violating the rights of citizens in regards to firearms, it disproportionately affects uh, minority uh, groups, ethnic minorities, women, and the disabled. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Isn't. Like, this isn't the... Do y'all remember a while back the, the plot that kidnapped Gretchen Whitmer? And it was a it was an FBI-led thing? Yeah. yeah, you mean the, you, the Fed plot? Yeah. Yeah. The Fed. yeah. yeah. The, person you, you, who, the person who changed it to that then got sent to fucking D.C. Motherfucker failed upwards. Piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, essentially, they honey trap... They, 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 they honey pot... And then they they entrap. Oh, well, no, they infiltrated a group of people 
that was basically involved in uh, firearms use occasionally uh, drinking and complaining about the government. They infiltrated, then they took over, and at the point in time that they were, they got them in and arrested them, the majority, a, there were more federal agents and federal assets in the group than there were non-government citizens. Really? The majority of the group was FBI and FBI assets. Yeah, when they went uh, to scout out. A lot of the initial people... When they went to no, do like, the, yeah, the scout, you, sorry to cut you off. When they went to do the scouting out of like the governor's mansion, of I think it's like the six people or like six to eight people that were there, two of them were not either FBI or FBI informants. Yeah, it was basically um, six of them were on the Fed payroll. It was it was straight up entrapment. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Absolutely. because. That's, that's it what, was an um, FBI plot where they went out and actively tried to draw people into it so they could arrest them for uh, a kidnapping attempt of the governor. That they needed it, to meet their quota. Essentially, yes. That That's fucked up. I... Well, the really funny part is, is the one guy, one of the guys they tried to get on that, he brought up the fact, it's like he brought a fucking recording of all of that, of how the ones who were trying to say we need to go from doing this as a um, protest, completely nonviolent, just say that we're, we're, you know, we're angry, have maybe a little civil disobedience by being on the lawn they're not supposed to be in and whatnot, that it showed that either it was the FBI or FBI informants that were saying, no, we should kidnap the governor. Yet there were yeah. basically there were basically the it was the the feds basically drove it and um, and then all of a sudden it's like oops oopsie doodle. Well, oh, we're supposed to figure that out. Yep. Even though we're stupid. <laughs> Again, this, this, this. When our government is supposed to be doing this, that's supposed to be. You, you, you don't entrap your citizen. You, you don't. You don't need to justify your existence. That's the fucked up part for when it goes back to the whole thing for the ATF. Like, they have the NFA stuff, and they always throw those charges on because they expect someone to do a plea deal. Because every time that starts getting pushed up to higher courts, they drop any NFA charge. Like, yes. you start fighting it at all, they will drop NFA charges because they know if that gets pushed to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court's going to rule... Not in favor of them. Yes, there's mm. a couple people that will, like the one that tried to say, oh, the First Amendment gets so it, it hamstrings the government. It's fucking supposed to, you dumbass. <laughs> well, the whole Constitution is supposed to hamstring the government. It, that's the whole point of it. That's what it's there for. You yeah. know, because... Again, it's a Ben Franklin quote, right? He who would trade liberty for um, liberty he, for temporary safety deserves neither liberty nor safety. He who would trade liberty for security does that, uh, deserves, deserves neither. Uh, yeah. Well, um, it's yeah. I, 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 I always found it funny whenever I'd see some Karen like, what about my right to safety? What right to safety? Life your responsible to happiness. You understand that you can go that not even leaving your house, you can still die. I can be I could die in my own house right now. Like all right. You're more likely to die in your own house. Yes, you yeah. and those and, and in your home, you're more likely to die either in your bathroom or your kitchen. Yep. You are responsible for your own safety. You are responsible for your own health. You are responsible for any, you know, uh, aside from a few things, 
you are responsible for the shit you do, you know? Well, that's why whenever it comes to the gun debate and I hear someone say that we need to ban guns and this and that, or especially when they say, ban, you know, um, ban all guns, I ask them why they hate poor black, they hate uh, poor people and especially poor minority groups like black people. I've got why, one better. Why, why are you being so racist? Because they're like, oh, no, I'm not being racist. These things, it's like these things that you see, crime and all that, disproportionately tends to affect poor communities, especially poor communities of color. So, why do you hate black people? Maybe you just hate black people. Like, well, if, you're say, if you're gonna say that you hate niggas, just fucking say you hate niggas. I'll have more respectful of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, so there's, so there's a reason why say. gun boards for. Uh, Pistol licenses in Michigan got abolished. It was a civil rights push by uh, Michigan Coalition for Responsible Gun Owners, and it was because the gun boards were being used to keep uh, blacks and women disarmed. Yeah, Des- despite the state law being shell issue, they were still uh, they were directly breaking the law to use the gun boards to keep women and blacks disarmed. Yeah, that's why for New York, the Supreme Court ruled that I want to say it was because of Bruin. That as long as they they uh, meet the qualifications that are met by the state, you have to issue the license. For it. You can't just say no. That's why they 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 make those ridiculous. Um, but the, the way things are going, there well, is a potential. We... Oh, hold on, there is a potential because we currently have. Unfortunately, Michigan is not, and it, it won't because fucking Whitmer's retarded. But we have twenty nine states that have a constitutional carry. And I'm I like so, this one. Frosted I'm writing. so hoping we could plausibly get that ratified as a member that constitutional carry is just straight hands down. Frosted glass. Rights are things you are born with, not things you need to be given. I have a, yes. Absolutely. And that's where a lot of the uh, people get the Bill of Rights 100% wrong because they're like, well, this, this amendment gives you this right. No. That amendment recognizes and tries to protect a pre-existing right that you have simply for being human and here. Yes. That's that why was I actually like- why they were worried about creating the Bill of Rights, because people would turn around and interpret it that way. Well, that's one of the things I liked what uh, the Yankee Marshall put for when he put, like, I, I shared that one video to where it's like, do uh, illegals have that? It's like the right of the Second Amendment, and it's like not really because technically, I kind of like the way he goes about it. Instead of saying they're illegal, they're criminal immigrants. Yes. Like that, if, if that say sounds, you were, I don't even care. That sounds exponentially worse than illegal. I'm fucking there for it. Immigrants, <laughs> 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 and if they have a criminal. gun, that's just a uh, that would be a firearm modification to their crime. Mm-hmm. But I, I just love how they want to, to ban gun rights for legal citizens, but they want to affirm them for criminal uh, aliens. Exactly because the again, here's the thing, as far as I understand with the um, the Constitution protects the rights of citizens. Yes. And it's specifically written in that way. We the people of the United States of America. And I'm, you know what? I, I want to say this. I want to say this right now. I'm so goddamn tired of people saying we are a nation of immigrants. No, we are not a nation of immigrants. We are a nation of citizens. We... Yes, our ancestors immigrated here or were brought over here. But right now, those people that are living here, most majority of them were born on the soil. We were a nation of immigrants. No more. The problem is with that, even that got bastardized. You know, that's why you see, you know, eight and nine month pregnant yeah. Women crossing yeah. the border. And and that and that's another thing we need to get rid of. Just because you're born here, if you're born to a legal uh criminal uh parent, you should the, the 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 amendment that created that was designed for freed blacks. 
Yep. Yeah, and that that amendment was very poorly worded because it should have been very clearly specified. Basically, everyone who was born here up to now, because yeah, I got no problem with free blacks born in the U.S. Uh, citizen, absolutely right. But a person yeah. crossing the border illegally to have a kid born in the country, uh, both of you should be deported. It, this, it, it, it should have been a clause in the amendment. Free blacks born, and this, this amendment exists only to 100 years since ratification. Because by then, anyone born here will automatically be a sin because they were actually born on the soil of two free blacks. It will, your, your citizenship is already built in. It should have been a time limit on that there. It really should have been. Well, just just uh, all people born in the nation, you know, born in the country up to now, and all people born to citizen parents. Make it very explicit. Yes. Because mm -hmm. at, at that point... You know, born up to X date. So if you were born yesterday, you're a citizen. And then if you're born tomorrow, well, your parents, if they're citizens, convey citizenship. Like that's birthright, again, birthright yeah. citizenship just by virtue of being born in the country, no matter your status. Uh, visitor on a visa. Oh, hey, I was uh, vacationing there and happened to give birth three weeks early while well, my kid's a citizen now. Yeah, no. Um, so I, I this story happened to me at work, and I want to say it's about 2014, 2015. I'm, I'm, I'm working at a checkpoint, and this woman, she's heavily pregnant. She's mother, and she's come through with a husband. Bitch is being a complete and utter ass. Just cussing us out, just being a bitch. And you know, as she goes, we all hear her very clearly say, I'm so glad I'm going back to wherever the fuck I'm from because I don't want my child being born here and being in America. Then why the fuck did you come here? Like, good, leave. Pretty based. Yeah, and and I, I I'm not sure. I want. I don't think I was on the uh, the special team where I was handling ex uh, terrorists at that. I think I, I think she may have been one of the ones we were handling. So she could have been either a terrorist affiliated or a low level terrorist or, or a low level, you know, person of interest. I will say it's kind of funny at the conversation we just have. Like my whole thing right here has been. Kind of perfect in there. Imagine texting her what that mouth do. And she replies, come find out. Now it's 2 a.m. and you're sitting on the edge of her bed listening to her talk shit about the government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, mine is because of a comment in <laughs> that tear made in Frosted's uh, Discord. So. Oh, yeah, I got Rick Roll. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Frost and Rick rolled me. Who's he, the bitch now? So I'm I'm I was playing uh uh Railway Sim uh Railway Empire 2 and Frost was in the chat. But yeah, listen to this song. Okay, I listen to this song. So yes, so I listened to it yesterday at work, and then oh I remember he, he put up another one and I click on it, never gonna give you a fuck. <laughs> How the fuck are Rick Rolls me? <laughs> Middle of checking the bag, too. Go to hell, Frosted. Oh, man. Um, this, again, if you don't. I, mean, right, I, I still liked how, because it's like between the corner and then this, I was like, oh, cool. McLaughlin's came out with something. So I listened to What If Alien Ant Farm had wrote Message in a Bottle. What if mm -hmm. Corn had wrote Umbop? What if <laughs> wrote uh, Life? What if Panic at the Disco wrote Freak on a Leash? Ooh. What if, what if um, Semi Charmed Life 
was written by the Beatles. I'm not gonna listen to it because like the Beatles had like four good songs. Wow. They don't have a lot of songs I like. I I do have I do have one thing for Frosted's question though, as far as and I know he's being in jest, but I gotta I gotta drop uh Got to drop a little bit back on here. It says, uh, so if illegals don't have constitutional rights, technically we can make them slaves. Um, there is, of course, prohibition in slavery and law, but do you also have this part of the 14th Amendment, which doesn't require uh, citizenship, says, nor shall any state deprive any person, not citizen, any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. So you'd have to at least arrest and convict them to be able to do some kind of like uh, prison work game. Well, that's a fucking lie because there is that, did y'all, a uh, while back, this woman let those, that legal family into her house and had the woman cooking for her? Oh man, I, can, I think it was in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah, I saw just a little bit about that. I didn't, watch the full thing and it's like so you, you're taking somebody who's illegal into your house to cook and clean for you yep for free for free you're providing them food and shelter yeah that's starting to sound a little like lazy. uh huh and this is all uh, they, they're not even hiding anymore wow <laughs> That means they'll hit more shit, wouldn't it? Black people, everyone should own one. <laughs> um, Frosted, you're doing a YouTube link and saying it's a Ben Shapiro video. That I, I don't believe you, especially when we've just been talking about Rick rolling. I don't want to have to ch uh, move across state lines to do something potentially illegal. I have to click on it. I just, I, I, I have to know. And I know. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be kind to yourself. I won't. Fine. I told you this earlier. Stop being a fucking retard. I can't help it. It's in my nature. I, I can't help it. It's in my nature, man. I know Frost is a goddamn troll in the half. Yes. Okay, people, um, give me a one in chat if you think Frost is trying to drop a Rick roll. It absolutely is. There is zero percent chance it is anything other than a Rick roll. Yeah. Um, yes. You know, <laughs> I can't the, I, you know something, it's frosted. I mean, even if he told me that it was the it was directions to the fountain of youth. I would say no. Chicago Mike. So, <laughs> hey, BG, the thing is, I mean, I you could go for the notion of something worse than a Rickroll, but uh YouTube has some standards, so I mean I don't think he uh dropped a link to like a dicker dildo on me or something like that there. Okay. Now if it was if yeah. it wasn't YouTube, if it was like to a still image out there, you know, I I think you know probably a goat see or something like that. It, it is obviously a Rick roll. Like the notion that would that it would be anything else is absurd. That's <laughs> Kelly Hunt invented the Rick roll. <laughs> See, it's not that we don't love you, Frosted. It's that we don't trust you. We trust you to be you. Trust you as far as I could throw you. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. It's fucking I, I, Frosted, of course. We don't trust him. <laughs> well, how do you think I went with? I trust you as far as I can throw you. <laughs> Of decent wait, 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 wait. body strength, depending on his size and shape, I might be able to throw him a decent amount. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. White Americans, hello, my Latinx friend, Latinos. I'd rather be called a, a, a slur. White Americans, 
Latinx is a slur. Latinx. 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 It's like talking the. It's like looking at the Labic. Labic. I still like the one thing I said. Like someone was like, "What does the LGBT stand for?" There's a uh, Luigi got big titties. Uh, Mm-hmm. Lettuce, bacon, guacamole, and tomato. <laughs> that sounds tasty. <laughs> First, he's like, "What you think out of it? It's lettuce, tomato, guacamole, and t- tomato." I, I just yeah, I, I, every I, time, but I saw LGBT sandwiches for sale, and that is what the ingredients were. Mm-hmm. Like they were selling them as like a fag fried kind of thing. Hey, you know, uh, you know, if your marketing makes money, your marketing makes money. Money, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, why do you think they put uh, flags in their bio in in every June? It, it it's rainbow season soon. Mm-hmm. I I want to know when the hell do they get all these fucking holidays from? Maybe. Like you. No, you are the most marginalized group, but you got so many fucking holidays. Yeah. Hang on. Right. See ya. Yo. You should play this one. Oh, God. No, it's Jesus not a Rick Roll because I'm not a prick. Sorry, I'm not frosted. <laughs> it's totally a Rick Roll. It's not. That's it, It's not. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he found right. Wally. Uh, blatant Kufuri. Can y'all see it? Mm hmm. Turn the volume noise. Hold on. Pride, lovely boys. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> Disgusting! Never have I seen such a display of blatant puffery. <laughs> <laughs> Never in all my life! <laughs> Windsor <laughs> Davis. Where's that from? Five um, books and four pianos. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it ain't our fault, Mum, is the... It's the name of the show. Bleeding Puffery. Yeah. <laughs> He's. Yes. Ah, oh, man. All right. I, I'm, I'm starting to fade. <clears throat> Excuse me. So am I. I mean, I'm still awake. All right, all right. You win the bet. Yeah. <laughs> he gets a free hat. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. Uh, but before hey. I want to at least play this one. Hmm. You killed those babies in self-defense. Mm? You, killed those babies in self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, babies can be dangerous if they attack in hordes. Yeah. But I want to play this one because I love this one. ことろうのいなぽちぷんなのぽかたぽちきおいはいらんまいらこいていうるかりろんまいらこいてとんがてるわひねとたいやはうはぎのてろんぎやつのいてめるわとことないてまらうわおてないぽちき I love that one. It's just the yeah, yeah to get me. I uh, I love that one. Yeah. That, 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 yeah, I, I love I love mouthwash, but I love that one too. I like that one. I love good hacker. Absolutely. All right. Um, we we are watching um Garn- the original Garden sixty seconds tonight. Yes. Sweet. All right. Uh, Rodden oh, has the it. one with Sammy Davis Jr. 
plausibly. I don't remember who's in the nineteen seventy four. I'm pretty sure it was. Um... I mean, I'm pretty sure you, you're welcome to watch it. Um, we're watching the original Gone in sixty seconds, and we will be reviewing on Rotten's channel, which will be uh, the movie review this week, and we'll be at eleven fifty-five. Um. Yeah. Right, you have anything else planned this week? I don't have a fucking clue. I need to work on some videos and I just haven't. All right. Um Angela, will you be on Corpus tonight? I don't believe so. I haven't heard anything from Jack. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, um you have anything planned other than being on Mr. Adams show Monday? Well, gone in 60 seconds with you guys tomorrow. Okay. It wasn't uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, I'm looking at the cast list right now. I was going to say something. Um, yeah. And we'll, we'll be watching the movie with me, Rod, and James Colley. Will, will you be joining us? I'm sorry? Well, will you be joining us watching Gone in 60 Seconds? Me? Um, maybe. Mm. Right, um, so possibly will. Uh, I mean, that, she, that's like uh, 20 hours from now. I don't know what I'm doing then. You, you probably <laughs> roll over and realize, you know what? I'm going to take another cat nap. <laughs> Speaking of gone in 60 seconds, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, really? Come on, that's all right. No, I'm trying. Um, uh, Angela's going to be on Mr. Adams' uh, Minions Night. Which is Mondays uh, with Ty, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Mr. Adam, uh, will to, this week is a art stream because yesterday, yesterday or today, yesterday was um, with Evil Within, right? Yep, and because it's even, it's even's odds. The next two weeks should be art streams. Okay, a wow. month changeover. Oh, you're right. Is it time to stop now? Yes. It, see, Tari didn't even have to play it because I'm starting to fall asleep. <laughs> I got work in the AM. Um, uh, Are you Tari sure Bob. you're black? I mean, yeah. You've got black. a job. Yeah. <laughs> Steady income. So, yeah, he's yeah. doing it wrong, but <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you for it. I'm blacking wrong. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to use that in my bio. I'm blacking wrong. Uh, yeah. If you spit off, if you go to my descri the description in the video, you will find links for everybody's channel. Apart from mine, because I don't have one. Well, I put you under the, I, I got your, I believe I put your Twitter account and I put the minions because you, I believe you said, you know, you're one of them, so you want to promote that. Well, I occasionally go on there. It's not all the time. Well, yeah, but, but yeah. you want yeah. Um, And if you put the request in enough, maybe, just maybe, Tyr will teach you how to Dougie. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, nope, I won't teach him. No, well, I'm still trying to get on the corner, but Frosted won't let me because he hates me. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, I don't blame him, but... <laughs> I don't think yeah. he hates you. I think he's showing mercy on you. <laughs> Actually, that's right. really fair. He's being kind. Don't. Yeah. You don't wanna. <laughs> um. What else? What are they about to say? Uh, Terry Bot. Um, you you'll be on Mr. Adams' meetings night, correct? Uh, the second half. I don't. I don't do the talking. I do the the beating up of the of Adam. Okay, uh, and then you are on um, Hammer's Minions Night, which is Wednesdays. You're mm -hmm. on Johnny Hellcat's Game Streams when he mm -hmm. does them. You're on uh, The Corner. Usually held Friday nights, but Frosted held it Saturday for some odd reason. You're also on Quippy Night with Frosted, Jack Gunsky, and James Colley as regulars. You're on Six of Silver Streams. You're on 
uh, Jack Gunsky's game string when Frosted doesn't do a thing. Um, I'm forgetting something, aren't I? It's um, easier to do what he's not on. I think it I think really is. I think we covered everything. Uh, I'm going to need a list, like just so I can start reading that. Like, yeah, I, I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. Wait a minute. Didn't do that one. All right. Um, as for myself, you can find me here. You can find me on a game stream Mondays and Tuesday. I will try to stream something slightly violent. Or, you know, uh, so I want to stream Monday and Tuesday Crusader Kings. So I'll probably move to Crusader Kings 2 and do the After the Earth mod and show y'all guys that Monday and Tuesday. Thursday, I play uh, Star Trek Online with Mitch. Me and Mitch just fuck around and talk Star Trek all day about 6 p.m. Um, and then Friday, I will return with um, Railway uh, Rail Railway Empire Two, and I'll do that. And Saturday, I'll do the Midnight Show. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out. Um, if you go to the description and in the pinned comment, you will find five. Count them: five GoFundMe's for James Colley, Angela Ayaga. Moonshot, the Hey Camel, and Maddie. These are I all great should, people. I think we should get Kevin in to record Mini the Moocher and play that at the end of the stream. Ooh, that'd be <laughs> nice. Aww. I love I love the Cab Calloway version of that song. Yes, I but I think Keith could pull it off. I love all you know. I, I'm a huge fan of swing music. I have no clue why. Like awesome. black, uh, black people in the park, they do a lot of swimming, especially from trees. So, uh, oh, sorry, you, you know how to cut deep. Thank you. You know, when the emus rise up again, uh, well, when you rise up against the emus, I will join them and put you back yeah. down. Well, you got to oh. remember for the, the emu war, it was the military who couldn't do anything, and that's because they were using a shitty Henry machine gun, the old, old original Henry machine gun. When the farmers got gun, were able to get guns and ammo, the farmers called the emus no fucking problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of them were former military. Far went over this on the war bar. Like the history of that shit is funny. Like the military fucked up, and it's the reason why they did they did technically lose. But mm -hmm. then when the farmers went at it, the farmers had absolutely no problems whatsoever. It's almost like government oversight doesn't fucking work. How oh, very goodness. dare you? No. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> uh, I know you have that sound, uh, Cat's Burner. Because I dare to. God damn it! Dr. Claw! All right, oh, ladies. I, I miss that show. I do too. Oh, um, like uh, uh, let me uh, play the outro. Right. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to our brand new outro, somebody ever lovely Kira Dale, and I would like to thank her for providing the lyrics or the vocals. So, without much to do, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye. In a bit, we'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Keep smiling through, just like you always do, till the blue skies drive the dark clouds far away.